Hello, I'm Todd Park, U.S. Chief Technology Officer. And I'm Stephen Van Roekel, U.S. Chief Information Officer. Today we're going to talk to you about the President's executive order on open data. President Obama took a historic step in issuing an executive order to make government data open and accessible by default. Open data holds huge potential for the U.S., not only inside government promoting transparency and efficiency, but also for economic value, fueling entrepreneurs and innovators to create solutions using government data. Starting today, new and modernized government information resources will be made open and machine readable by default, while protecting confidentiality, privacy, and national security. So you've heard about the executive order, now Todd's going to tell you in less than 60 seconds about the value of open data. Government information is a valuable national asset. The administration is committed to unlocking more and more data from the vaults of the government as fuel for innovation that can help improve government and grow the economy and create jobs. Open government data actually fuels many innovations today that we take for granted. For example, the U.S. government's Global Positioning System, or GPS, powers all kinds of amazing products, ranging from navigation systems to precision crop farming uh, to location-based apps on your phone and much more. Open weather data uh, from the National Weather Service actually fuels all kinds of things, from weather newscasts to weather apps to even new kinds of weather insurance, improving all of our lives, growing the economy, and creating jobs. And through the President's Executive Order, as we make more and more government data available in fields like health and medicine, public safety, education, energy, and much more, you'll see all kinds of new startups, new companies, new innovations that improve all of our lives, help grow the economy, and create jobs. We can't wait to see what American entrepreneurs and innovators will do next with the growing supply of open government data.